Hey, it's JD again. Uh, just got done with a spectacular week with uh, West Acres Baptist Church from Augusta, Georgia. They came down as a medical brigade and also a construction team, and there was about 40 of them, and me and Hayden got to tag along, and I'm telling you, it was just, just a great, great week. Uh, I was able to kind of be like a semi-translator, so to speak, with them. I was able to do some triage work, and also, let's see what else, work in the eye care clinic, and also just kind of be kind of a traffic control for people because they had to go from line to line. Because we, we had set up also with a uh, just regular clinic for getting medicines and just getting checkups. And also we had evangelism going, and we also had uh, VBS going for the kids. So it's just a great, great week. Uh, we did four days of that. Then we also had two days of construction here. They were helped. To, they helped uh, build a house for um, Carlos's parents. They also built a work area. They laid some cement. And for one of the classrooms, they also ended up building 30 desks and chairs. So uh, a lot of work being done here this past week. It was really, really great. Had a great time. Obviously, it was great, as you can tell. Uh, and probably my, mo my favorite part would be uh, one day after we did uh, the clinic, uh, we were just chilling out on the top of the mountain. And right before we were supposed to get on the bus, we had probably a worship service for about 30, 45 minutes or so. And it was just gorgeous. Uh, it was so fun. And that was probably probably one of the moments I'll cherish the most since being here because it was just a really great time with that whole group and getting to relate and talk with them. And ironically, uh, one of them, Richard, he actually goes to UGA and he lives in Pineview, which is where I used to live, and we never even knew it. So we were practically neighbors or at least in the same complex, and we never even knew it. So I uh, hope you're doing well. Hope everyone got back safely. And just thank you for such an awesome, awesome time. It was, God was really moving. We probably saw, I'd say probably 500 people. And we gave out tons of Bibles. We gave out tons of uh, salvation bracelets. And it was just a um, wonderful opportunity to kind of meet the people and get to see what the problems are uh, around the villages of Siguatapeque. So just want to thank you for uh, everything y'all did. Uh, you just did a spectacular job. So I uh, love y'all. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Another thing I want to tell y'all about, most of y'all know, probably the reason why you're watching vlog, is I am going to be part of a first year missionary program with Adventures in Missions. And it's going to be lasting for nine months. And there's going to be two parts. First part is called The Awakening, which is kind of constructed up of uh, discipleship, training, and some outreach. And so it's going to be really intensive, really uh, applicable to spiritual growth. And I'm really looking forward to that part. And then we have another part after that called the outreach, which is going to focus more on service of the community and doing ministry in uh, children's homes, schools, uh, even prisons maybe, hospitals, churches. So just really getting out there and trying to spread uh, the glory of God and trying to help out um, community in physical and spiritual needs as well. And so uh, just this is something I've been praying about, and it's been amazing how God's been kind of leading me down the path of finding this, and it's really great. So most likely we're going to be in Nicaragua for nine months. It's definite we'll be there for three months, and maybe the next six months we might go somewhere else. I'm not sure quite yet, but most likely it's all going to be in Nicaragua, and I can't wait. And probably having to raise between seven and $8,000 for it, and... By the glory of His mercy, I've already raised probably half of that money. And so I just want to thank everybody who's supported me through this um, spiritually and financially. Uh, it's just been amazing. So thank you for all your prayers. It's been very, very humbling. And just this whole process of having to rely on um, the church, uh, Christ's bride, and Christ himself. And so I'm indebted to all of you, and I just pray that... Um, um, your investment in me and this ministry will be used wisely and so my time and um, the money will be well spent and fruit will just abound so thank you so much um, I just can't I can't explain the feeling of it because I've just I've never had this outreach and support from people like that at least on this basis I probably had in the past but I just didn't realize it and so now it's really just taken hold and taken root in my life and so I want to thank everyone for that 
and thank you for reaching out to these blogs. If y'all would like to support me and haven't, um, you can go to uh, jdrussell.myadventures.org and I have video blogs up there. I have uh, written entry posts and stuff and there's also just a little um, link where you can do support me. Thank you so far. Um, I'm going to be trying to write some emails to y'all. Um, unfortunately, I can't really do handwritten letters or newsletters or celebration letters, that type of thing, because uh, I'm in Honduras, as you can tell, and so it's kind of a little hard uh, just doing direct mail. But I want to thank everyone for uh, your support and love, and uh, hopefully y'all are being blessed by these videos and seeing what we're doing. And I'll definitely try to get some more pictures up. Uh, this week, as a matter of fact, i uh, going to be going scuba diving. It's kind of a week off from me. Really, really looking forward to it. My dad is coming in, so going to go pick him up, and we're going to head out to La Ceiba. And so we're going to spend probably two days there, and then there's another island called the Bay Islands, a group of them. And we'll head over there and maybe do some scuba diving. And then the kids are going to be coming a uh, day later and tell her. It's probably 30 hour, minutes, hour away or so. And we're going to meet up with them and then come back here and he's going to get to see the orphanage and everything. And so really looking forward to that. So, uh, Dad, if you see this before it, uh, just have a safe flight and take care. And I'll see you in a few days. So, uh, love everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, shining for Jesus and spreading his glory in renown.